Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be making bone broth from our Thanksgiving leftovers. We're actually making turducken bone broth on a smoker. It's going to be the best thing you've ever tasted. Stick around, I'll show you how I do it. Okay, let's jump right in. So a couple of weeks ago, I showed you how to make the turducken of insanity and you saw me take all of the bones from the turkey, the chicken, the duck, the squab, the two quail, and actually put them in the smoker when we smoked the turducken. Well, today I'm gonna show you what we do with them. So here are those bones, right? And uh, we're gonna make bone broth. So if you don't know what bone broth is, bone broth is like broth or stock, but at a whole nother level. And since we're all about insanity here, we do a whole nother level. So broth is about meat and boiling down meat. It's a 45 minute to an hour, maybe two hour protein rich, right? And then you've got stock, you've had chicken stock and beef stock and probably ham stock. That's made from the bones. It's collagen rich, it's gelatinous, right? So uh, those are typically boiled for two to four hours, not a lot of protein in there. And then you've got bone broth. So bone broth is where we have kind of the intersection of the two. We're using meaty bones, we're pulling all of the protein out of the meat, but we're also boiling the bones down to the point where we're pulling all of the collagen, all of the gelatin out. It's gonna be a really gelatinous, really rich, thick broth that you can use for gravy, you can use for soup, way better than cooking with stock or regular broth. So let me show you how we make it. So I'm gonna start by taking all of these meaty bones that we smoked. Now, if you didn't smoke your turkey or chicken or duck or whatever you're using to make this, then you're gonna wanna roast it either in the oven or just throw it on your smoker before you start. But the bones go in the bottom. We want these closest to the heat. We've got a whole bunch of vegetables here that we've chosen both for flavor and for nutrition. So we've got carrots and you'll see with these carrots that I didn't peel them because there's a lot of nutrient in the skin. I just washed them off and I'm gonna dump those in. I've got a bunch of celery. Celery is great flavor. I've quartered an onion. And by the way, there's no reason to chop this stuff fine. All these solids are gonna come out at the end. So we're just gonna throw them in here. I've got uh, a lemon that I quartered. This acid from uh, the lemon combined with the apple cider vinegar we're gonna put in is gonna help to pull out the marrow and collagen from the bones. And then I've got some rosemary and thyme. I'm not gonna put all of this in. Because we're gonna be boiling for a long time or actually simmering for a long time, uh, these can turn a little bit bitter and you know, rosemary can taste a little bit soapy. So I'm just gonna put in this whole thing, there's a 16 quart stock pot, just two sprigs of rosemary. And I'm gonna take just a little bit of thyme. This can actually, again, this too much of this, it'll taste like medicine, which is not what we want, even though it's good for you. Um, I've cut up a whole leek. Amazing flavors. If you don't use leeks, they're in the onion family. Some curly parsley. I took some garlic cloves and just crushed them. No need to dice them. They're fine whole, but we want that oil to come out of them. About a quarter cup of black peppercorns. I really like the taste of juniper berries, so we're gonna throw some juniper berries in there. A Couple of pieces of uh, ginger that I cut up and some uh, shiitake mushrooms. I actually got these from a local farmer here in Raleigh at the farmer's market, and they're just amazing. I reconstituted them and used them in some soup with some uh, beef bone broth. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and reconstitute them, put them in dry here, and we reconstitute them as we simmer this, okay? And then finally, my last ingredient, I'm gonna put in about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. I think all of you know the uh, health benefits of apple cider vinegar by now. If not, uh, I'll put some links to some channels to talk about that down in the description. But this is also acidic and it's gonna help pull out the nutrients that we need out of those bones. All right, let me get some water and we'll put the water in here. I'll be right back. Okay, now it's time for some smoke. So you're gonna notice a couple of things on Darth behind me. Uh, Darth, if you're uh, new here, is our extra large big green egg. If you've been here before, you recognize him. Darth is running at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we're running a Fogo premium hardwood charcoal, actually super premium, because we're gonna do a long smoke. Uh, you'll notice that I pulled the thermometer out of the top. There's a very good scientific reason for it, and that's that my stock pot is too tall 
to leave the thermometer and still be able to close. So I've got my ThermalWorks Signals thermometer in here in the lid, uh, and it's controlling the temperature of Darth. Uh, and that's important because we're going to be doing a long cook. So let me uh, go ahead and throw these on Darth, and then I'll explain the rest of what the program is today. So you see here, I, ha I don't have a grate on here and I'm using a trivet. Again, same scientific explanation, huge stock pot. And it wouldn't fit if the grate was on. But now we're gonna be able to close. So while those are on there, uh, Darth is running at 185 degrees. 185 degrees because we don't want to boil. We wanna, don't wanna come up above 200 degrees Fahrenheit because we'll damage the collagen and the gelatin in the bone. So this is an ideal temperature to simmer. We're gonna simmer for a really long time. How long? We're gonna simmer for about 18 hours. Now I'm gonna come out every couple of hours and just spoon off any foam that comes out. There's not gonna be a lot because these bones were already roasted. You get that when you're uh, using raw bones that haven't been cooked a little bit, but, uh, but I'm still gonna keep the foam off of the top. You don't need to watch that, it's just a spoon, right? But in 18 hours, We'll see you tomorrow, it's gonna look very different. The water's gonna boil down, we're gonna concentrate the gelatin. Uh, you're gonna see something very different when I come back in the morning. Now, before I leave for the night and uh, leave you here, real quick, Eat More Vegans. If this is your first time here, this is a channel all about meat. It's about grass-fed and corn-fed and grain-fed cows. It's about corn and grain-fed pigs and chickens and goats and lamb. So they are vegan, so we don't have to be, so we get to eat them. If that's your kind of thing and you like cooking on grills and smokers, I hope you'll consider smashing that subscribe button and hit that bell so you get notified when we got new videos. So I will be back in the morning. For you guys, it'll be about three seconds. We'll see ya. Good morning, guys. So you remember I told you that we were gonna let that simmer for 18 hours? Well, it turns out, I lied, it's a nice morning, decided to sleep in. So it's actually been about 20, 20 and a half hours, uh, but that's okay, because Darth is still at exactly 185 degrees. Uh, he's gonna maintain that temperature for as long as we want with that super premium charcoal, it'll burn for a long, long time. And uh, that extra simmer probably just added a little bit extra flavor. So let's go uh, take the stock pot off of Darth and see what we're working with. Okay, so as you can see, got a lot of smoke that's all taken in there. It's stewed really well. Um, we've got, uh, I've been stirring it, so some of the vegetables are different than what you saw on top before. Some of the meats come up from the bottom, but boy, this looks delicious. Let's go ahead and get this off and uh, get it filtered. Okay, so the sun is peeking in and out of the clouds a little bit, so it's gonna get bright and dark and bright and dark, but you guys don't care. It's all about the food, right? So I'm gonna start by taking out the uh, solids from here as much as I can before I strain just to make it a little bit easier. Okay, I've got the majority of the big pieces out now. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. got another stock pot, you can use any bowl, uh, and I've got a fine mesh strainer. This is actually called a bullion strainer. Uh, I like these rather than the little ones that you normally use. It's pretty cheap. If you guys want one of these, I'll put a link to it on, uh, on Amazon. So I'm gonna now, uh, remember always using the heat gloves because uh, this stuff's hot. I'm just gonna pour this through the bullion strainer into the new stock pot. And you can see that all of the remaining solids got picked up in the strainer. Now, you guys uh, can't really see the, the bone broth, so I brought this glass bowl just so that I can pour it so you can see it. Uh, 
There's no reason to do this other than the fact that I'm on camera and I want you guys to see what we're working with. Can you guys smell that? So this is uh, perfectly clear, but still gelatinous, still got a little bit of the fat in it. Uh, this is gonna taste delicious. Let me go get Leah because she loves this stuff and we'll taste it together. I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. If you've been here before, you know my daughter, Leah. If you're new here, Leah is nine and she is the most awesome carnivore and loves delicious food and she's our official taster. So Leah made bone broth again. This time I made it from that turducken. So we made chicken bone broth, made beef bone broth. This is new and I haven't tasted it yet, but I think it's gonna be good. You wanna get us each a mug? Yep. Okay. Here comes that sun again. How much do you want this much? Yeah, do, do a scoop each. There you go. This is gonna be mine. Have that one. Oh, you know what? We didn't get a mug for them. That's okay. You guys, uh, you guys can take a sip off of this. Or you can just or yeah, why don't you guys drink it right out of the ladle? All right, that's for you. This is for us, you ready? Cheers, cheers. All right, here we go. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. You can smell the cherry smoke, can't you? Yeah. All right, so normally Leah likes to do MTY moist, tender, yummy. Uh, obvious, it better be moist, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's anything here to be tender. What do we go on the yummy? I think it's pretty yummy. Pretty yummy mm -hmm. out of five. One, two, three, four. Five. Gets five, okay. So this is a recipe that you should try. I hope you enjoyed it. By the way, if you haven't seen the Turducken of Insanity video, I'll put it right here. And also we made uh, a really cool stuffing to go in that Turducken and I'll put the video right here where you can see that. And we'll see you next time on Eat, Eat More, More Vegans. Vegans.